Gary Davis was a phenomenal guitar player, wrote a lot of great tunes, and luckily, in the early 70s, Jorma Kalkinen and Hot Tuna started playing a lot of them. Actually, he started playing them a little earlier than that. But uh, they started putting out albums in 1969 or 70, and it was, uh, for me, as a teenager, this just turned my life around, my guitar playing life around. And when I heard Hesitation Blues on the first Hot Tuna album, I, it was like a lightning bolt. Like, oh my god, I gotta figure out how to do that and, and listen and get, get more of it. So, um, this song, very near and dear to my heart. I haven't done a complete lesson on it yet at Totally Guitars. I'm thinking about it. But let me just give you a few things, a few pieces of info on it, because it really is just a 12-bar blues tune with this very neat little twist on the whole thing that, in the beginning, rather than have four measures of chord one, it's, it, it's in the key of C, and it uses A minor and E back and forth for a half a measure of each. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now in the fourth measure, it goes from A minor to C7. That is, again, just the variation on our 12-bar blues format, which I explain a lot more over at Totally Guitars. There's all kinds of theory lessons and stuff about blues and finger picking and all the techniques you need. But just, I just want to talk a little bit about the structure of Hesitation Blues, because once you get to that C7, we're now in what I would consider the second line of the 12-bar blues, and we, got it, we have to get to chord 4. So we go to F for four beats for one measure. One, two, three, four. And I'm playing this F without my little finger, with a fingering I like to use for F chords, which is full bar, second finger on the third, strat, third string at the second fret, and third finger on the fourth string not playing anything on the fifth string because we're going to be alternating bass notes back and forth on the sixth and fourth strings. You don't need to waste a finger on the fifth string. So that's how we play the F. The second measure goes to F minor with a little bit of bluesy variations adding on the D with your little finger. And then this very typical of Gary Davis slide of a C7 chord, working it back and forth a half step down and up. Try that again. There you go. That was a little closer. Because you're really just working your way back and forth from C7 to B7. A lot of different ways of, play, of playing it with your right hand. And uh, if enough people come over to Totally Guitars and put Hesitation Blues in the Recommend a Lesson section, I will get to the rest of this because I would love to do a lesson on all of this kind of fancy finger picking stuff because this is what I've really been doing for the last, for a while, for my whole guitar playing career since I heard Gary Davis and Hot Tuna back in the early 70s. So, uh, Hesitation Blues, high on my list of things to do if enough people uh, just vote on it. So, there's a recommend a lesson button over there at, on the home page, actually on every page. And if you'd like to see a lesson on Hesitation Blues, come check us out at totallyguitars.com.